pi and negative pi. And one of the things I notice here is that these trig functions are not the same. And so one of our strategies that we incorporate is to try to make them the same. Using our identities, we know this one from our formula booklet. We can plug in secant squared is equal to 1 plus tangent. So it's 1 plus tangent squared x minus 2. Tangent x is 4. Rearrange it to tangent squared x minus 2 tan x minus 3 is 0, collecting my numbers. Again, I have a quadratic situation, which is very common. I get tangent x uh, and 3, tangent x and 1, factoring it. This is negative, positive, and so tangent x is equal to 3 or tangent x equals negative 1. <clears throat> this is one of our nice ones. And so x, well, it's going to be in this quadrant, which will be with a pi by 4 reference angle. That will be 3 pi by 4. It will also be in this quadrant, so going this direction, that will be a negative pi by 4. This one is not one of our nice values. So we'll have to use our calculator to help us out with this. So let's take a look at what it says. We'll change this to tangent. We'll change this to 3. Make sure we change our window. I'm, I'm going to go from negative pi to pi since that's my interval for x. And we'll make this go up to 4 so I can see it. We'll graph it tangent as you recognize there's an asymptote here and it's here but I'll have two values so let's find the first one second intersect and I get 1.25 x equals 1.25 and finding the other one um, Scrolling all the way over. Close enough. Oh, no, it wasn't close enough. One, two. And we'll say that is negative 2.2. 2. There we go. It's 1.89. Negative 1.89 is our other value for tangent. So again, using the identities, factoring it because it's quadratic, using exact values and our calculator to find the values for x.